Hey guys, it's the Faceless Beanie and welcome to my dev stream summary for dev stream number 139. This dev stream was full of revisions made to existing content instead of new content announcements, so I've summarized it as well as I could. Let's get right into it. First up, the next update for Warframe is due in early March. Operation Scarlet Spear will incorporate Squad Link for the first time. There will also be continuation to the new war series of quests with a new quest being introduced which will be subsequent to the Hidden Era quest. On to the revisions. The resource requirements for Rising Tide, the quest to build your railjack, will be lowered. For players that have completed the quest, all excess resources used will be refunded. You'll also be provided with two rush repair drones. Next, armor scaling. Armor scaling will no longer be exponential based on enemy level. It will now increase exponentially up to level 75, then the increase drops off progressively. Shield gating will now be fully implemented and you'll have to hit critical spots on enemies to bypass shields. Slash damage will no longer bypass shields. The Kuwa Brahma won't kill you anymore. Self damage is being replaced by self staggering. Explosive weapons fired at a short distance will stagger the player backwards instead of damaging the player. Excavators, health and shields will now scale as the mission progresses. Small UI changes incoming such as players being able to view weapon stats directly without having to hover over the weapon. Next, Arcanes. Arcanes can no longer be double stacked, but they can now be ranked up to rank 5. There will also be nerfs and buffs coming to Arcanes themselves pretty soon. Status chance exceeding 100% will now provide players with a chance to proc additional status effects. Shotgun status chance is being changed as well, with all shotgun status chances in the game being tripled. You'll now also be able to view the status chance per pallet in the arsenal upgrade screen. Finally, a failed Kuva Lich assassination will now grant murmur progress to all members of a squad instead of just the player that attempted it. There's a ton of other smaller stuff that I couldn't fit in a summary, so be sure to check out the entire dev stream linked in the description down below. As usual, I hope you enjoyed the summary and I hope this helped you out. This is the Faceless Beanie signing out.